happy ending almost on the end of each movie. So is that possible only in the movies? Let's talk about that. Hello beautiful souls! My name is Alexandra and my dream is to help you live your dream. I want to inspire you to get up and take that action that you know you need to do and stop making excuses and postponing everything for tomorrow. So that's kind of my mission, right? To inspire people to actually start doing what they're meant to do. And along the way, we need to learn to listen to ourselves and also to listen to others. And that's what I want to talk about today. So two days ago, uh, I was watching the <laughs> movie with Daniel. We watched Why Him? Uh, it's a comedy, it was very funny, it was cool. So what's happening in almost every family comedy movie, right? All family coming together for, let's say, Thanksgiving, right? Or it can be Christmas or any occasion, wedding, whatever. Everybody coming together and it's just a mess, right? Like the whole movie is a mess, everybody hating each other, gossiping around, rolling their eyes, screaming, fighting, it's just scandal, right? Catastrophe. But then, on the end of the movie, everybody are getting along, right? Everybody are happy together, everybody love each other, hug each other, want the best for each other, and how that happened? So let's say it can be a wedding, right? So we have a weekend, everybody are having this weekend together, and then on the end of the weekend, everybody are awesome, right? How this is possible in two days? Is this possible only in the movies? Or we actually can learn something from it and implement in our own lives? And I will say yes, of course, we can learn from anything. <laughs> That's my point here. So what, why is this thing that break people in that short period of time? Talking and listening. You will notice, like, after all these scandals, fights, people not talking to each other, they come back together and they, then they talk about their feelings. They talk about how they feel, what they want, um, how they are, want other people to feel about, and they're just having a beautiful conversation, right? So when you said this, this hurt me, when you did this, I feel this, I want this, I'm hoping for this, right? So they're not just talking, but they're also listening to other person. So then each person understand that it's not about them, it's about a family, like everybody together, like not one individual, like your point is not important, are you gonna be right is not important, what is important is for family to have a beautiful time together, right? So everybody kind of understand that and everybody talk about it and it's just one beautiful harmony afterwards. So is this possible with every member of our family? Absolutely not. But is it possible with most of our family members? I think so. So to key to have a beautiful relationship with your family is to speak up, open up, say, how you feeling, why you feeling that way, and how that person is hurting you, and in their way of treating you, what you like, what you don't like. And then be very honest and very open to hear their side, because they're gonna say something to you back, right? Yes, but you are acting like this, blah, blah, blah. And then you need to say, let me think about it, yes, you are right, I'm doing this. So you should be the first one to lower down your ego and to show everybody that family is very important and family being together and loving each other is the most beautiful thing in the world. And you should be example of that, right? Not gossiping about everybody else and um, you know, laughing in their face and then turning around and saying who knows what, right? Because then you can expect from others to do the same to you. But if you are the first one to say, why are we fighting? We are family, we are people, we should be in love and harmony, helping each other, 
then if you're the first one there will be definitely other who will feel the same and who will not feel threatened anymore right all this fighting and like I'm better than you you're doing this uh, attacking right show some love and light to your family so with that being said I want to inspire you <laughs> to learn from every movie even if it's a stupid movie right you would say just watch some stupid comedy just to relax and do nothing and you can learn from it you can learn from literally anything so use that go around look around and learn and implement into your life and make some beautiful harmony and that will be everything for today and until the next video my beautiful souls thank you i love you